Hi, my name is Aaron Smiley. Over the past year, I've been creating how-to videos for PicSight's amazing apps. From vector art and assembly, colouring in in pigment, and journaling in Zineer. When I started working with the PicSight team, I really had to learn from scratch the best way to create this type of content. I've created an entire space dedicated in my studio to these types of videos. But you really don't need to do this. And at the start, I didn't. I didn't spend huge amounts of money on extendable desks, camera equipment, lighting, editing equipment. All I did was use my iPad and my iPhone. So this video is for all those people out there that want to start creating videos dedicated to the process of your work. Here's my top five list on getting started in creating how-to videos. Now, if you want to create your how-to videos as quickly as possible, well, recording can be as simple as heading over to your screen on your iPhone and pressing screen record. Just swipe down on the top and you'll see a record button here. If you'd like to also record your voice, just tap here, click on record, and you can record your voice simultaneously while working on your PicSight work. Tip number two, you do not need a really expensive camera. In fact, the likelihood is if you have an iPad, you probably already have an iPhone and you already own an expensive camera. So tip number two is use your iPhone to record your iPad. Now, if you're doing this and you also want to record a voiceover while you're simultaneously doing it, I recommend using your earphones, whether ear pods or directly hooked into your phone. That mic there is better than the mic in your phone and also it will be closer to your mouth as you're recording, a much clearer sound. Okay, number three, that's aspect ratio. Now the thing about your final video is you have to consider where you're gonna be posting it. If you're posting it on Instagram stories or TikTok, you wanna record that in wide vertical. If your final piece of work is gonna end up on YouTube, you might consider recording that in wide horizontal. In both cases, you wanna frame your iPad in the center of the screen and you want to create a square safe area in the middle. That means that if you want to crop this into a square aspect ratio, you can post this across all the rest of your social channels. Number four, angles. There are two main angles for recording this type of content, from above and from the side. Now, if you're doing it from above, you must, must, must secure your iPhone properly. Now, when I started, I wanted to film from above so I put my iPhone directly above my iPad. Now I did not have that secured properly. I had a balancing on the edge of my rig. What ended up happening? This. A completely perfect, unusable, smashed iPad Pro. This is an extremely expensive mistake to make. And I had to, because I had a deadline to meet, go out that very day and buy a completely new one. I didn't have time to get this repaired, but all you need to do is purchase one of these. Now this is just a small clamp. You can buy this with a selfie stick. You can buy this with a mini tripod. Uh, they are like 10 bucks. You've got it. You don't have to worry about destroying your uh, really expensive iPad and uh, you don't have to make my mistake. Now that goes on to my second one is that if you don't want to risk putting your phone above your iPad, buy one of these. Now these are a tiny little tripod. You can put them to the side. I recommend that if you are gonna film and you're gonna have one of these to the side of your iPad, you put it to the side that you're not drawing from. So that way you see the screen in the most clear way possible. This just hooks onto here. You can move it around and you're good to go. Number five and our final thing is editing. Now you might wanna record a continuous video or indeed, you might wanna take that a step further and edit a sequence that is maybe one, two, three minutes long. Now you can record an hour's worth of footage and you need to edit that down. My recommendation is that if you're new to editing, get started by downloading some of these apps and playing with them. They're really straightforward. Your footage has already been recorded and it's already ready for these types of apps. Just to name a few apps that you could go to the App Store right now and start editing your footage. You have Adobe Premiere Rush, you have a light motion, you have InLight Video Leap, you have Film -A -Go, go you have iMovie, you have InShot, you have CineMaster, you have LumaFusion, and you have Splice. 
That's a lot of apps and they are super easy to use and they are a great introduction to editing. Those are my five tips to get you started to recording your content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.